Hey guys, I'm Red Herring, and it's time for another StarCraft II game with myself as the Red Zerg. Yes, I am off racing uh, as Zerg against uh, Ixion. Or Exion. Exion, yeah. Exion, the blue Protoss. Now, this was not played on ladder. This was, in fact, a custom game. And uh, Ixion here is, is uh, actually the student of Minigun. Uh, complexity gaming uh, minigun. Uh, yes, him. <laughs> As I'm sure many of you guys uh, know of him, he has competed in various tournaments. He's uh, definitely a pro player. And he actually um, needed a Zerg player to, to fight his student. And so I volunteered for that. And so Minigun is actually watching this game. Um, or watched this game as it was being played. And kind of helped the student out. So, um, yes, I'm casting this because, not only that, but uh, I needed to a good Zerg game where where I thought I did okay <laughs> to cast for you guys. Uh, I know I, I casted the Terran game earlier, so time for uh, me to show the Zerg players some love here. Um, now, if we look at the um, the map, it is Zelmager Caverns, and it's actually the tournament version, MLG version. So it does have a supply depot here, and this is just to stop uh, Protoss players from, from pylon blocking a Zerg player. That was pretty much the only reason they stuck uh, these supply depots down there. So I think, I believe that is the only difference here. I'm, yeah, I think that's the only difference here. Um, as opposed from uh, from the MLG version as opposed to the ladder version. So I'm going for a 15, I actually went for a 15 pool and a uh, gas right after that. Uh, because he did send out a scout at 9. Uh, and I am going to just go scout with... Uh, my drone after putting down my gas, uh, and I will see an extremely standard opening. Looks like he got a, I believe this was a 13 gate, and he got gas after that. He's going for his pylon now, so things could not be any more standard. Uh, income tab, yep. I mean, there's not much uh, variance here. Now, um, one one uh, one thing that I, I need to do here is uh, go for the roach all in, and this is because. Actually, going into this game, uh, Minigun asked me to to roach all in his student. I guess his student needs to practice this, and uh, he told me that his student is actually going to be going for a three gate expo, and I need to roach all in him. And this is uh, this is actually game number two in the series. Uh, <laughs> game number one, I did roach all in again, and pretty much uh, killed them straight up. I mean, there wasn't it wasn't a very exciting game, so. Hopefully uh, this one will be a little bit better. It looks like he was trying to juke around my, my uh, probe, but I do get the hatch down. Uh, a little bit late though, he delayed me a little bit, throwing a little bit of money, getting my queen. Uh, I noticed I did not stick guys in gas, so this was actually a mistake by me. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, so I am Master League level as Zerg, but this mistake is, is really, really hurting me here. Um, and. Exion, it looks like he is going, uh, getting his warp gate. I mean, this is, this is extremely standard here. Uh, and look at my vision. I do see, I saw everything he was doing, and I do control the watchtowers with these, uh, with these zerglings. And um, let's see here, look at the production tab. Yes, so getting my roach horn, and um, you know. <laughs> when you go approach all in, usually you need some roaches, and that would that would help the build. So because I forgot, I realized I forgot to put gas in gas. So I actually get a second gas geyser, but I only put one drone. I think I only, oh, I have two drones right now. But I think I only put one drone. Yeah, there we go, one drone in the gas geyser, because I do need to get zergling speed, and I will get it soon. Yep, there it goes. And um, make my second queen at the main. Gonna put the creep tumor down here, and then walk into the natural. Extremely standard. Uh, Looks like he is getting his uh, two gates, and my overlord's positioned here. I decided not to fly him in because Minigun had told me before that his student was going to go for the three gate expo. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit of cheating on my part. Uh, if, if this was a ladder game, I definitely would have sent this overlord in just to scout the three gate expo. But I trusted Minigun to tell me the uh, the right build. So, um, and it did look like a three gate expo when I went into the uh, main earlier and scouted it. So he's throwing down his forge, and I actually send this circling in, and I see, uh, this is his vision, my vision, I, I see the gateway, I, I click the button, I see the forge, and his expo is just started. So I'm feeling pretty good, my expo is up, um, getting getting saturated, got a few more harvesters, uh, harvesters than him, and now I'm going to pump roaches. So circling speed is almost done, and uh, in fact I could transfer some of these workers over to my natural, but this is, this is optimum saturation right here. Uh, still one in the gas geyser, 
um, because I don't need that much gas. Like if you look at my gas and minerals, nice and low. This is a uh, this is good resource uh, resource management on my part, and you know, continuing to spread the creep. That's good. Um, and I am a little bit supply blocked, but I think I am making yeah, my overload is almost done. So, um, and he oh, this is so many centuries. He has seven centuries. So um, that's good by him. Uh, he needs he really needs to scout though that my roach all is coming up because he didn't. Okay, besides his initial scout, I always like to scout as soon as my nexus is done here. I like to send a probe out uh, just to take the tower just to see. Um, if there are units coming so I can have time to throw down cannons and he's not doing that uh, But he does have a lot of sentries, but here I go here. I go. I have um, a 10 supply lead and He's actually getting hallucination. I did not know this in the game. I wonder I wonder if he's gonna use it for, for much, but okay rallying in lings remember lings are fast so They can catch up to the initial force very quickly And here we go uh, Yeah, the, the zealot was blocking them in and I actually flank with my zerg wings. great. I'm, I'm uh, making him waste force fields Attacking with my legs, he really needs to force through these targets off. They're doing so much surface, uh, surface area to kill his sentries. I've killed so many sentries. He needs to target down this cannon, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, he's working in more stalkers, which is good because stalkers do a lot more damage than sentries. And uh, he actually forces me out of there for now. But keep in mind, I'm still rallying in roaches, I'm still rallying in lings. Um, and he is. Oh, he's getting a force field. Good force field right there. A bottlenecking all my lanes. They can't do anything. Uh, snipe the sentry right there, which is good. I'm actually targeting down the pylon. Uh, I need to empower this forge. Uh, or I, I actually could have killed the forge if I really wanted to. And as opposed to retreating here, because my roaches are speedless, I'm actually targeting down sentries, which is great. Uh, he lost every single sentry there. But yeah, I tend not to retreat just because stalkers um, definitely can catch up to roaches without speed. So. Um, and he's actually, I rallied some more in there. Oh, is he gonna, am I gonna get the sell it? No, I'm not. I should have been able to target fire that guy down. Uh, and pulling my, my guys back, I realized, you know, he's held um, decently. If you look at the uh, workers killed, I actually haven't killed, <laughs> killed one worker. So, um, barely any economic uh, damage done. The, the damage has been in the um, the straight up army army confrontation. So I am ahead in in uh, in units lost, and I am grabbing my third, and uh, continuing to drone up a little bit, uh, getting five more drones, getting my lair, my evo chambers down, getting plus one uh, armor for my roaches and lings, and I'm sending in. I made a bunch of roaches thinking that he might uh, might come attack me, so I made these uh, just in case. Um, I, I'm not exactly positive on the timings for Zerg, but at least it's against the Protoss player. So because I play Protoss, I can kind of know when the Protoss timings are, uh, and I can I can play Zerg in a way that takes advantage um, of that. Because you know I'm so used to playing as Protoss that playing against Protoss really isn't that. I mean I know the timings well enough so that um, that I can make uh, good judgments based on on what I see here. So. Uh, I am getting a Hydralisk uh, den because I know I know in my mind that he has four gateways. Uh, not know in my mind, but I I know he's going to go for a uh, Robo, um, just because um, seeing all my roaches, I, I think I forced him to go Robo. And I, I notice I haven't actually scouted this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I haven't scouted anything, any tech. I haven't moved an Overlord in or anything. But I just I just assume I, I I'm. I'm gambling on him going Robo. So I am going Hydralisk, and there he goes, Robo. Um, and so I'm going Hydralisk here, and uh, Roach Hydra, a very, this, like the staple of the Zerg um, force, Zerg ground force, and kind of kind of fell out of favor, uh, in favor of the Roach um, Corruptor, and then Roach Infester play, but I really do like Hydralisks. Um, I know they're not Amazing, but they're they're definitely decent. And look, my my spot on injects actually not spot on at all. <laughs> wasted twenty three energy on that one. This one's wasted a little bit more, but overall not too bad. Notice how I hotkey all my queens um, to four, and then my hatches is five, so I can kind of use the backspace method, uh, which takes you to every base, and then and then uh, I can inject um, with my queens. Uh, and there's several methods to doing injects. So that's just my personal. My personal method, but um, yeah, there's the inject on there, inject on there, inject queen, inject. There we go. Um, so getting hydralisks, and they have plus one armor now. And 
uh, broke down these rocks, broke down these rocks. If you noticed earlier, he actually scouted with hallucinations. So this is the vision here. He sees everything. Uh, he sees what's going on. He sees I did get spores because I thought he might go Dark Templar um, or like some Void Rays or something like that, and he didn't. So these are kind of kind of unnecessary right now. But uh, again, I've just been eat going up pretty well. Um, we're actually even in harvesters right now, but uh, I do have a third base, so that is giving me, um, yeah, I could saturate that more. Uh, that's okay saturation. This is decent saturation too. So he's actually oversaturated on these bases here. This this is super oversaturated, but uh, he is getting us third, and I actually scout this with my life, so I know I know the exact time. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good. If, this is my vision right here. I mean, I am doing pretty well in controlling the whole map. I've overlords, um, like pretty much. Uh, uh, everywhere on the map, so I can see if he's coming with like Warp Prism Harass or Stargate units or anything like that. Um, I'm head in uh, 42 supply ahead. I'm <laughs> pumping out Hydros, 10 Hydros on the way. Uh, and 68 Hydros to 64, so things are looking okay for me. I could, um, I have good um, spending, um, you know, my money's nice and low. You don't really want to be above 500 in any of these categories unless you're on uh, 3 or 4 base and as I say that I kind of reach <laughs> that but uh, I'm getting an overseer now and uh, that's because I do spot this observer I see this sitting here if you look at uh, my vision I can see that little blur I don't know if you guys can tell there and I, and I snipe it down there but I could see the little blur in the mini map so I am going to take that out I'm floating a bit of gas now and so I'm actually going to go for um, Oh, I remember this. So this is actually a mistake on my part. First of all, I didn't get a, a infestation pit, so I can't get hive tech. And that was actually really, really bad for me because, uh, you know, my riches, or my, my uh, Ortigia force here is 1-1, one, one, and I really need 2-2 uh, two, two, and then 3-3, three, three, but I need to get a hive to do that. So engaging here, I'm, I'm going to attack him with, with my force here, but good force fields by him cut off this... Uh, this half of my army, and I really need to get out of there. Uh, scoot and shoot my way, pick off that uh, last last out there. And he actually, if he had like moved his sentries up this flank, he could have filled me in and killed everything. But uh, he didn't. His upgrades are pretty decent, one one, uh, same as me. But I am getting, um, I have double Evo Chamber, and I'm getting plus two Carapace, and it's about to be done. And then. Uh, melee attack one. So I'm getting my Spire here, and I realize, oh dang, you know, I'm floating so much money, I need to get off this Roach Hydra, uh, this Roach, um, yeah, Roach Hydra combination here. I need to get some Hive Tech units going. Um, but I realize I forgot my infestation pit. Uh, so I am droning up some more, 74 drones now, uh, grabbing my third here. Uh, when am I going to throw up my infestation pit? I know I realize this soon. This was actually, this is so late, because I'm floating so much money, because I don't want to sink it into units that um, that I don't need. Like, I want to wait for, excuse me, I want to wait for hive units, but I realize, you know, that's not happening. And I see, I see this horse coming, so I'm just pumping roaches. Um, and actually, this is, this is a pretty formidable army here. Only two classes, but the sentries, the sentries will be very key here. And even the stalkers can do decent amounts of damage to my horses. Um, so I'm rallying in guys. Uh, he actually scouts with the stalker. He sees my army. And I need to engage out of the choke point. I need to get this around on his forces. And here we go. Good force fields. It throws up the guardian shield. I, I move these roaches in to try to smite the Colossus, but they're not even in range. Uh, his Colossus are just barely out of range. He pulls them back even more. Um, I am I am wailing away at the stalkers here. But these force fields were great. These guys can't do anything. They're like stuck behind the force fields. Better force fields here. These were superb. Trapping um, trapping my, my roaches and hydras inside. In range of the Colossi, but I was able just with the with the numbers I had. I mean, I'm pretty much maxed here, and, and he's uh, 50 over 50 supply behind me. And I look, I'm, I'm finally getting my hat. I'm rallying in so many roaches. Uh, good, good resource management here. Could re, could uh, relocate some of these workers. I need to probably take the space. Oh, just so I say that, yes, I am going to take the space here. There we go. And he's actually getting his third here. And I see, I see this. And so I was debating actually going Banelings here, uh, <laughs> because I know how annoying like it is to go to, to like Baneling drop this, and I know Baneling drops were nerfed, as in they take more APM to execute now um, in, the la in the latest patch, but I actually sent uh, a squadron of roaches over here, and I'm going to 
Um, he has cans for defense, and that's actually really good by him. So I focus down, focus on the cannon, there we go. He blinks down, and he's gonna um, take my rich style, but that's okay, because I was diversion. I'm, I'm going two-pronged attack here. But this is a horrible angle for me. <laughs> the Nexus is stopping me from getting the surround here. If this Nexus had not been here, or if I had engaged from, like, flanked from this whole side here, it would have been much better. But this is a horrific engagement. I mean, this is bad. This is just bad. <laughs> And he actually cleans up. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, so these guys are actually uh, doing some damage down there. But um, he blinks in. He's he's destroying my whole army. I'm like, oh crap! You know, this is not good. Uh, three colossus here. So they're so good. And I have uh, keep in mind a greater spire on the way. I'm going brute lords. And he has dark shrine and warp prism. So we'll see if that comes into play later. But he is just wailing away. He killed all my static defenses here. I'm but I'm pumping <laughs> pumping so many roaches. See all my roaches rallied in there. Uh, and I'm gonna have to break this. I mean, I need to. I need to stop him. Oh, he might get my gold. Oh, okay. Oh, he was not able to get my gold. And my corruptors use corruption on the Colossus, um, focusing on the Colossus. And my wishes are two-two against his two-two units, so we're even in upgrades. That's good. But I'm rallying in more roaches, lots more roaches. I'm just streaming roaches into the front. He's actually able to kill that force, but I have more and more guys. And, and that is all because I'm keeping up my injects. Look, I'm still injecting even during these battles. Well, this guy's not injecting. There he goes. Um, all during these battles here, it is important to not focus on really macro or microing uh, as opposed to macro, especially with Zerg because injects are so key. Uh, so during battles, um, inject. If I had not been injecting as well, and my injects weren't even that good. I mean, these queens are floating a bit of energy. Uh, so they weren't really crisp on the injects, but I injected enough to be able to stall his army. But he's getting seven Dark Templar. That is insane. Seven Dark Templar. And he's gonna... Oh, he might warp him in. Yeah, so I see this with my with my Overlord. And I'm actually rallying Lings into here, because I thought it was a Zealot drop. But little do I know. Here come the Dark Templar. <laughs> I was not prepared for this at all. And this is a tactic I actually love doing as an against Pilos. Is going like late game, just working with a bunch of Dark Templar and forcing him to scramble for defense. And now he's using that tactic against me. And so, <laughs> I mean, this is horrible. I almost thought about quitting right here because, okay, he's, these guys have done so much damage. This guy has 11 kills. Look at work is killed. Oh, jeez, he's killed 34. Oh, he's killed 24 workers, and it's, it's rising still. I've killed a bunch of his workers, too, but he's killed a lot of mine. Um, I rallied some links down here because I was going to go a uh, counter-attack, but he actually snipes the hatch there. He hasn't. He doesn't know about this base, but he sniped like all my workers. My queen, he's killed. Um, oh, <laughs> he gets my hive. He sniped my hive. That's so many Dark Templar. Oh, my gosh. And so I, that was a big deal, sniping the hive, because I can't get any more tech. Um, from that, he's, he's destroying all these guys. I bring in my overseer here, and finally, I'm finally, I'm able to clear out these dark Templar. But these guys have done so well. I mean, and he's and he's running over here with his horse, um, with his with his stalker plus his horse, and is taking down my defenses here. He scouts this. He's going to snipe that. And I mean, this is really not good. Uh, he has more dark Templar all over here. And if you look at the income tab, he has killed so many workers. 27 workers, and he's like ahead by 20 workers um, with with like double my income there. So things are really not looking good. I am ahead in supply, but um, really things are, are not looking too good for me. Um, now, if you look at the production tab, he is just pumping Colossus, and I realize, you know what? Okay, this, I was kind of in the all-in stage. I'm like, okay, I have three brood lords. I'm just going to push, because he spent so much money on Dark Templar, I'm thinking he might not have a main army. So he, he, I snipe the Colossus, I actually run my roaches up to snipe the Colossus. Um, my Broodlords are wailing away on these uh, Stalkers, and these cannons are kind of absorbed from shooting Broodlings, and, and can't focus um, on my Hydras, and my Hydras are just ripping apart Stalkers. Hydras are 2-3, oh, that's so good. And my Broodlords are, are uh, tanking the damage against these cannons. Uh, he has a Warp Prism with Dark Templar, but he's not using them. Oh, I'm actually gonna snipe the warp prism. Snipe the warp prism. Snipe the warp prism. Corruptors. Uh, I got to keep an eye on that. Nope, doesn't look like I will. Um, he's warping in more, more stalkers. I actually snipe the next epic gold, which is great. Um, and and I run a link counter attack here, and I hold position. Now, if I had not held position here, uh, they would have gone for the cannons because the AI works. Uh, the way the AI works is they will rush um, the target priority. Um, in this case, an attack a unit that can attack them, which is the cannon. So I actually uh, hold position there, which allows them to attack probes moving through the field. 
Um, I snipe the Colossus here, I'm sniping uh, the Dark Shrine, but he warps in a clutch around the Dark Templar. And, <laughs> oh my gosh, the two-shot hydras, Dark Templar, just destroyed my whole army, except for this solitary Brute Lord up here. And I realized, oh dang, I need to, I'm making more hydras, I mean, but... Uh, I realized, oh dang, that's so many Dark Templar in my base. And I actually uh, spread out my, my lings here and got a bunch of probe kills. If you look at the workers killed, I've actually took out a lot of his workers there. So um, we're just sacking each other in the face, like this whole game, just destroying each other's economy. It really needs to transfer these drones away. But, um, and okay, this was the part that sucked. So my hive died, right? And I actually didn't make another lair. So I don't have any overseers. Like he killed my overseer, so I actually have to wait to morph in a lair and then go. So here we go, morphing in the lair. I have to. I I can't attack him because I thought he and he actually morphed into the Argos, but I thought he still had Dark Temple. I thought he was going to attack me, and I was like, I can't move out because he'll just destroy all my hydras. And you know, I need to wait for an overseer, which I can't get until I remake my lair. So um, if he had actually not made Archons and just attacked me, I know he didn't know. Like this is a vision right now. I know. Oh, this is a vision right here. I know he didn't know that I didn't have another lair, but if he had like gambled on that or, or just attacked with the Dark Templar, I would have been dead. So, a little bit of a mistake by him. Um, but he has made four Archons, and Archons with plus two damage, so good against Biological. 43 damage against Biological. Very, very good. And, uh, wow, that's a lot of saturation there. That is a lot. That's enough for two bases on one base. <laughs> and so I'm coming in, I got my Overseer, I'm like, okay. Down to push, down to push. I see this base coming up. I mean, I've seen it. This Overlord has stayed alive pretty much the whole game. And I've been ecoing up. I've uh, I've got 47 workers, which is actually fine on, on the number of bases I have, claiming the gold, ba the gold base there. And um, very importantly, he wasn't able to kill my tech. Uh, and I was actually able to um, to keep making roaches and hydras in the boats which I will show you comes up later, but we have the Assault here, need to get the Blue Lords to attack these guys there, snipe that. Good, I have the better Concave here, he's actually kind of balled up here, and I've just been, like, these Hydras doing so much DPS. Um, I detect uh, his, his Dark Templar that way there, and I'm actually just destroying him, but he blinks under it, he's trying to snipe my Blue Lords, but the Hydras are doing so much damage. Uh, and, oh, I need to kill this Colossus, this Colossus is doing so much. And, oh, he warps in another clutch, uh, warping of Stalkers, targeting down my last Blue Lord. And now I'm watching this battle, I'm like, every unit counts here, we're both hecka low on money. And so I actually spread out my, my Hydras here to avoid splash damage from the process. So I was, I was pretty pro. Which didn't really matter because he had uh, Stalkers here, but if he hadn't worked in these Stalkers, I would've been able to kill the Colossus. Just because of my, my, uh, <laughs> my pro, uh, avoiding splash damage micro. And, uh, so, oh, he lost track of the Colossus, snipes it. And, cl okay. Complexity's minigun was obs of the game. Yes, I was not kidding. <laughs> this is a student. And uh, yeah, I, I was able to uh, to, uh, to deny this gold. And, and I guess minigun told the student, you know, there's, there's no point in, in playing this out. You've lost. So that was, that's game. And um, yeah, so the important thing is the Dark Templar that he warped in here weren't able to snipe my tech. He got my hive, but he didn't kill. I mean, all of this is like so dead. I actually spread creep up here with my queen because I didn't want uh, the structures to bleed out. But if he had gotten, like, for instance, my greater spire or my hydroden or my roach or spawning pool, I wouldn't have been able to attack him. I wouldn't have been able to um, keep remaxing on on these roach hydro units, which was my my core units the whole game. So uh, I'd been I'd been ecoing up. I mean, this was a pretty close game. I thought I was dead at several points, um, but really was able to claw my way back. Um, into the game and and take take the victory. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was a master league level game once again um, against Miniguns <laughs> student here, and uh, I thought I did a pretty good job this game. I know I'm not the best at Zerg, but uh, it, it was a fun game. So comment, rate, subscribe. I will have more videos out soon. Thanks, guys.